Hi, this is Mary Hoffman, and today's demonstration is part two of a four-part series on visuals shop floor mobile. Please watch part one before continuing here to part two, three, and four. Part one uh, gave a brief overview of of shop floor mobile and also looked at it from the perspective of an operator, someone who's logging in and out of jobs, who's clocking their time, who might need to um, see documents and um, and give comment on what's going on on the shop floor. This particular session will look at shop floor mobile more from a, a supervisory or a foreman or even a scheduler or an expediter's standpoint where they need to be able to look more at the shop floor as a whole. And then subsequent demonstrations, number three and four, will touch on what I can do from a material standpoint with movement and issues in and out of work orders. And then um, that fourth one will be around purchasing. All very short, less than 10 minutes for each one of these. So let's look at scheduling here. Now remember, we're wearing the hat of, oh, let's just, let's pick on a foreman. Let's say that I'm a foreman. I'm responsible for multiple areas in the shop. So um, I might come into this labor area and go look to see what employees I have that are clocked in. Right now I have three folks clocked in. And there's some indicators, there's some information going on about, you know, what's happening, how long someone's been logged in, etc. But let's look at, let's look at more. Um, I can go look at all the labor by work order, look up a job if I need to. I can log myself in if you've given um, responsibility to do so to your foreman. Um, you, they can clock folks in and out as well. Um, typically, you want those folks clocking themselves in and out, but foreman might be given that permission. The scheduling area gives a view that is um, a, an online dispatch report. That's what we're seeing. So here we're seeing different resources that this particular person happens to be responsible for. If uh, on this front, um, front summary page, there's some things like how much time, how much work is ahead of this um, operation. Yeah, there's some work that's late. The indicators here are giving me information as well, and we're going to talk about what those indicators mean. Let's drill a little further into that cutoff saw resource. And now we're seeing all of the jobs that are ahead of the cutoff saw, and they're in, they're in priority sequence. So um, if I were an operator, my instruction would be to, to work on the very first job, the first one, click on it and log in. Click on that, log in. That's what an operator does, and that's what we saw in, in the first video. Um, here from a supervisory standpoint, let's, let's step back a little bit and get some additional information. Let's look at those, um, let's look at these symbols or these icons and talk about what those mean. So that that first clock there, a green clock versus a red clock, means that the job is on time. Red clock, it's late. The next symbol is uh, that clipboard. When it's green, means that this job needs material and it has it. It, ha it, it is not short versus the one under it is short. The next symbol is telling me that there is work ready for this work center. In other words, the previous the prior operations are, are completed. No one has charged time to this job versus a silhouette that's filled in. I have time charged to that job. Uh, this one has documents attached and you know I can I can also see um, when there's when there's tooling or other uh, notifications that have that have happened there. Now for if again wearing a hat of a foreman, Let's see what I might do with this information. So if I look down this list, I've got a lot of, um, a lot of jobs that are short, they're material. 
So maybe I want to know a little bit more about that short material. Let's just click on a job and now I'm going to go to the material list. I might choose to just show those short materials. Um, and maybe I want a little bit more information about that. Do I have any? Do I have some somewhere? Do I have any coming? Let's go look at supply order. Sure enough, I have some coming. Let's go look closer at that first purchase order. So now I'm looking at some details about that purchase order. Uh, if I'm doing this from my smartphone and I click here, I'm calling that vendor. Click here and I'm sending an email to get the information that I need or to, to ask questions, whatever that might be that I, that I need to do. But let's look at some other information on this dispatch list of ours. Remember that that red clipboard means that it's short material. If I scroll down, hmm, this job, which is fifth, sixth in line, has its material. So maybe while I'm investigating and finding out about these, the materials that are due for these other jobs that are ahead of it, maybe I want to grab that job and pull it forward so that my operators work on it next because it has its materials. So go ahead and move that up just by dragging and dropping and uh, bringing, that, bringing that up in the list. So now as an operator logs in, they'll see the, the sequence I want them to work on these items uh, from a, you know, being a foreman. So it's not only an online dispatch list. I can also do that 11th hour um, quarterbacking, if you will, to, to, to change the sequence of the way I want things worked on, the way I, with the sequence of jobs, change the priorities. But there is all kinds of information here, as you can see. We'll, we'll highlight a job and, um, and go look a little deeper at, uh, at the details or the information for that job. You know, I might, I can look at documents and pictures. I can add additional documents to this, to this job. Um, to, to document what's happened. Maybe I, maybe I take a video or I take a picture when I'm out on the shop floor and I want to attach that. I can pull that in and attach it. Or I can look at those documents. Of, of course, they're documents of any type. Videos you saw, PDFs, any type of drawings, whatever that might be. You can attach and see those. So documents and pictures and specifications are here as well. I might want to go see all the labor that's been charged here. Now I'm seeing all of the labor transactions and you know, once again, if I need to, I'll drill into those. Um, I can see more about this, um, this particular job. Things like details and the whole routing is here and the status of that job all the way throughout the shop not just at this one operation where i'm looking at it so it's more than just that online dispatch list it really puts the information that i need right at my fingertips and and walks around the shop with me there are many preferences here to be set for personalization just going to look at a couple one of my favorites is here um, I'm able to set some indicators that let me know if, if operations or, or um, if an operation is not running as efficiently as it should. So I can have some indicators uh, about those, um, about how I'm doing on the floor as well. So that's a bit about Shop Floor Mobile from the perspective of a foreman. Uh, or a planner, a scheduler, a um, expediter, someone who would need to really uh, understand what's going on as they're moving about the shop floor. The third video coming up next is about materials and, um, and how I would use Shop Floor Mobile for, for material movement.